Moments ago, Washington Governor Jay Inslee signed a bill into law that limits exemptions for the measles vaccine. Elise Haas went to Vancouver for the signing and explains how this impacts you and why not everyone in attendance supports it. It's no coincidence that Governor Jay Inslee is signing this vaccine bill here in Vancouver. Clark County was one of the hardest hit places in the country by the recent measles outbreak. I'm thrilled to sign this bill, House Bill 1638. Supporters applaud Washington Governor Jay Inslee as he signs House Bill 1638 into law, which promotes immunity against vaccine preventable diseases. What we need to do in the state of Washington is make decisions based on science. We have to do it based on medicine. And we have to do it based on public health to help all of our children. The new law eliminates philosophical objections to the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine, but keeps religious and medical exemptions. Both of those exemptions would require certificates signed by a health care practitioner. Without proof of an MMR vaccine or certificate, children won't be allowed to attend public or private schools or daycare centers. Employees and volunteers at daycare centers would also be subject to those same requirements. But as vaccine supporters gathered in the city hall chambers, parents against vaccines rallied outside. Mariah Sachs of Vancouver says she isn't anti-vaccines, but she's for more research. She does not support this new legislation. By signing 1638, yeah. Governor Inslee well, is taking I mean, away the right. Informed consent is a right that we will not test on people or subject them to medical procedures against their will. Washington has seen 74 confirmed cases of measles this year. Clark County Public Health has declared the local measles outbreak over in the last week and a half. But Governor Inslee says this legislation is a step towards stopping preventable diseases from spreading in the first place. In Vancouver, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.